Hey, what's with this shitty lunchbox? It tastes so salty, I can't even eat it. How dare you make the master eat such salty food? I'm sorry, Robert. My nose has been so clogged up since this morning that I couldn't even taste the food. My throat was sore and my fever was rising. I was dizzy when I made your lunch. You've got to be kidding me. You made such a mediocre lunchbox for your husband? I did my best to make this lunchbox. Hey, Robert. I'm sorry, but do you mind if I take the rest of the day off? I think if I lie down for a while, my fever will go down. Huh? A wife sleeping at home while the master works? Do you think such a thing is allowed? Of course it's not allowed. But I'm really sick. I can't do the cleaning or laundry today. I can't even cook anymore. Can't you just go out to eat somewhere tonight? Don't make excuses all the time. No matter how sick you are, you are a housewife. How can you say you want to lie down and be lazy when you can make your living thanks to your husband? Lazy? I've got a fever and I'm in real pain. I promise I'll do my chores tomorrow if I take the day to rest today. So can I at least take the day off today? Don't you understand that I said no? I won't allow you to take it easy while the master works. Listen to me. No matter how much fever you have, don't skip work. Don't sleep. Don't rest. Do your chores. That's an order from the master. Fia, as the mother of a son, I can't stand you anymore. How selfish of a wife you are. You're making a living thanks to my son. You should properly do your job as a housewife. What? Olivia, it's been a while. Why are you so angry? I'm so angry because of you, you know. Can't you understand that, you worthless wife? Huh? Me? I don't want to be a nagging mother-in-law. That's why I kept myself away from contacting you as much as possible. I've been quietly watching over my son and his wife for a long time. But ever since you married my son, you've been getting carried away. I can't stand your sloppiness anymore. What? My son Robert has told me about your terrible housework. He says you don't clean well. You don't do laundry. And I hear you cut corners on the cooking, too. Me? And to top it all off, today's lunchbox. I heard you didn't cook anything and gave him a cup noodle. That's really unbelievable as a wife. Wait a minute. I didn't do that. I do my best to do the housework every day. Even today, I made a proper lunchbox. Well, I messed up today's lunch. But that was because I was sick. I never cut corners on the food either. I'm hearing from my son directly that you always cut corners and today you spend the whole day at home sleeping. What? You have no idea what it's like to be a housewife. A housewife always has to respect her husband. Robert is the reason you are able to make a living. If you don't understand that, you need my direct training as a wife. You don't even listen to anything I have to say. You only believe what Robert tells you. I understand if that's the way it is, I am fine with that. I'll take your wife training or whatever you want. Well, what a cocky attitude. What a cheeky wife. But please start the training after tomorrow, okay? I just checked my temperature and it's 40 degrees. It's getting hard for me to even type the messages. 
My head is also a bit fuzzy. Can I take a rest? What? It's 40 degrees. Oh my god, you've been that sick? If that's the case, you should have told me earlier. Didn't your son tell you? The reason I've been lying around all day is because I'm not feeling well. What? And yet I worked so hard to make his lunch. He said it tasted too strong, and yet in the end, if it was cup noodle, he ate them, didn't he? I wonder if he threw away my lunchbox. You're kidding, right? You made his lunchbox while you were in such bad shape? I didn't hear anything about it, and he said you didn't even make it. That's why he had to buy cup noodles at a convenience store. It seems you have heard a lot of stories that have been fabricated by him. But I'm sorry, I don't have the power to explain that to you right now. So let me contact you again. Don't worry about contacting me. Your priority is to recover your health first. What's going on with my son? That's not at all what I heard. Um, Sophia, if there's anything you want me to buy, just let me know, okay? Robert is at work, so you can count on me. Hey, Robert, please let me in the house. How could you kick me out of the house so suddenly? Did I sleep badly? Your cough has been annoying me all night. It's the middle of the night and you're coughing. The master can't sleep at all. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't help myself. If you can't help yourself, stay outside. No matter how loud you cough, it won't bother anyone if you go outside. What? Don't tell me that you want me to spend the whole night outside today. I'm not well. I have a fever of 40 degrees. If you have a fever, you need to cool down. It's cold outside. It's good for you to cool down. You're kidding. I have work tomorrow. I've got an important meeting coming up, so I definitely can't take the day off. I wouldn't want to catch a cold from you. For the sake of your husband's health, you should stay out for the day. I can't believe you're kicking your wife out of the house with this high fever. You don't even worry about me. You're terrible, Robert. What's with that wife with the high fever? After all, when I came home, I found you had taken care of the house. You even made dinner for me. You just wanted to skip work because you had a fever, didn't you? What? Oh my god, what? It's so late, thanks to you. Well, I'm going to bed. I've got an early day tomorrow. Make sure you stay out all night and keep that fever down. Hey, Sophia. Where are you? I hope you came back home. What? Seriously, your husband woke up early this morning to let you in. But you weren't there. Because of you, today's breakfast was bread from a convenience store. Is that the first thing you say after leaving your wife outside all night? You don't worry about my health or apologize for yesterday. Huh? Why would I apologize to you? Rather, it's you who should be apologizing. You disturbed the master's sleep with your noisy cough. And you disappeared this morning without making breakfast or lunch. What? And you should be thanking me. I'm sure you're feeling better now that I've kicked you out. Your fever's gone down, right? Don't you dare skip any more chores. You're my wife. Your wife is no longer here. What? Sophia is no longer your wife. I made her file for divorce. Now please leave her alone. What do you mean made her file the divorce? Who the hell are you? 
Are you a friend of Sophia thinks you're a hero? I'm her mother-in-law. I'm your mother. Robert, what are you doing to your wife? What? Mom? Jesus Christ, I can't stop my anger since last night. Throwing someone out in the middle of the night with a fever of 40 degrees. How could you be such a monster? I didn't raise you that way. Wait, wait, wait. Why is mom showing up? This is Sophia's phone. Because I protected her last night. Sophia called me out of the blue. She said, please help me. And then the call went dead. I went to her house in a panic and found her lying outside and my heart stopped. Oh my god. And the front door was locked. I also got to see the messages with you. That gave me a pretty good idea of what was going on, so I rushed her to the hospital right away. And I left the hospital this morning after they put her on an IV drip all night. Then I went to the city office and had them file the divorce papers. Why would you file for divorce there? I appreciate that you came on the way out here in the middle of the night for my wife, but... Why did you have to divorce us there? Because I thought it was for the girl's sake. I didn't do anything wrong. For Sophia? Ah, perhaps you're trying to train her to be a better wife. You're trying to teach her how to be grateful to me by divorcing. That's my mom. You should keep up the good work and train her even better. She's a horrible wife who can't take care of herself or the housework. Huh? What's wrong with her? She does all the housework perfectly and has worked 365 days a year without a break. It's amazing she hasn't gotten sick. What? I filed for a divorce to get Sophia away from you. I was the one who believed your words completely. I gave you divorce papers before, remember? I told you to sign it so that you could serve it at any time. I never thought I'd use it this way. What's going on, Mom? Are you mad at me or something? I'm beyond angry. I'm disgusted. How could you ever fool me? You told me that she's a useless wife. Sophia's story is completely different. What? I was so worried about her yesterday that I ended up visiting her at home. And then she was having a fever, and she was frantically doing housework. I did all the daytime chores in a panic. You did? As a woman and a wife, I can't forgive you for what you've done. You abuse a hard-working wife and lie to your mother. What the hell do you want? Oh... Calm down, Mom. This is... This is... This is different. I was doing it for Sophia's sake. Huh? I have a lot of respect for you. You always do your best to do things for your family. And you're my ideal mother and ideal wife. I wanted Sophia to be like that, so I was called on her on purpose. I thought it would improve her housekeeping skills. You don't have to do that. Sophia is perfect. I could tell just by visiting her house yesterday. I can see how she's always on top of her game. No, she's a terrible cook. It's not as good as yours. Especially my favorite, fried chicken. I told her to make it as good as mom's, but she couldn't. Oh, you like my fried chicken so much. Then why didn't you say so? That's from a deep-priced fruit store near the house. What? Fruit store? You bought them? Yes. At first I was trying to make it in various ways. But one day, when I was sick, I served you a side dish from there. And you ate it more intensely than my fried chicken. You said, I like this one the best. So I've served you their fried chicken every time since then. What? 
I just quickly refry it when I heat it up before dinner. I never cook any of it. And if you want, the hamburger curry you like is also a takeout from the neighborhood. Oh, yeah? I've realized that no matter how much time and effort I put into making something, whether my kids like it or not is another thing. So I give up being the perfect housewife. It's more like giving up on housework. But Sophia's food is all delicious except for the fried chicken. I haven't had takeout once since we've been married. To throw such a devoted wife out of the house. I can't believe it. Well, I'm going to let her stay at home for a while to recover. And during that time, you're never to come back to the house. Hey, Sophia. Where are you now? Come back to me. Absolutely not. Thanks to Olivia. We're finally divorced. I don't want you to ruin my life again. What the hell are you talking about? I was a little too cold to you, but... But I was providing for you as a husband. What? I'll change my attitude from now on, so please come back. You've recovered and you've moved out of my parents' house, right? I don't know where you are now, but please come back. I can't live without you. You've been calling me useless for so long. And now you can't live without me. Because I can't cook, clean or do anything. I eat at convenience stores all the time, and my house is full of garbage. My laundry is wrinkled, and I don't have a shirt to wear to work tomorrow. I'm not going to be your housekeeper anymore. If you want a housekeeper, you can pay to hire a professional. Or next time, get a super healthy wife who will keep you in shape for the rest of your life. I mean, I understand that. But outsourcing is more expensive than I thought it would be. So I caught a girl in an app and brought her home. But when she saw how messy the house was, she instantly ran away. I can't even remarry. You don't want to pay, but you want someone to do the housework. How can you be such a scumbag? But you've been doing it for a long time. I'll help you as much as I can from now on. I'll even give you a little allowance if you want. I want you to come back. My parents have given up on me. I don't have anyone I can rely on. What? Your parents gave up on you? When I heard you moved out of my parents' house, I thought I'd finally get to go home, so I hurried over there. Then my mom and dad threw water on me. They told me, I no longer recognize an embarrassing son like you. I don't want to see your face anymore. Oh, they must be so angry. Maybe I've told them too much about our marriage. Please, Sophia, marry me again. I promise I'll take good care of you next time. I know it's hard for you to go from being a housewife to being independent. Yes, it's tough, but it's fun, so I'm fine. Thanks to Olivia, I'm in perfect physical condition. I found a job and started working right away too. My boss there is very kind and handsome. I have a crush on him. What? We've only been divorced for a month. And you're already flirting with another guy? Women move on quickly. That's why I want you to leave me alone. You're already in my past. You're a piece of shit. I don't care what kind of life you lead. Oh no. Well then, take care. Use this opportunity to learn how to cook what you want by yourself. I never heard from my ex-husband Robert again. 
On the contrary, a few days later, the property division was transferred to my account. Perhaps Olivia had played some kind of a hand in this. She sometimes contacted me to ask how I was doing, and contacted me with concern. If it had not been for my ex-husband's lies, I'm sure we would have gotten to know each other better. And Robert, after that, visited his parents' house many times, and each time he was thrown out after being doused with water. He finally started attending a housework class, and he told the instructor, "Why don't you do the chores in my house?" and was banned from the class. The incident was spread on social media that the whole country looked at him with disdain, as this is what happens to men who can't do housework.